creating tables. OK, so how do we create tables? So we know like what is a table, right? Uh, table is a two dimensional array. OK, and uh, which will be having some rows and columns in it and uh, the intersection of the row and the column is nothing but your cell. OK, so you will be inserting uh, uh, data into this particular cell. OK, so the intersection and you will be identifying this data in terms of the row and the column values. Um, timetables. OK, so we gave you a timetable. So timetable is nothing but a table, right? Wherein you are having some rows and columns and where in the rows and it's not having specific like a grid kind of thing. Uh, sometimes maybe the top uh, the first row uh, is having only one column and the second row might be having multiple columns. So how can you create such kind of tables in HTML we'll be seeing today. So I hope you understood what is a table. Table will be having rows and columns and you will be identifying them with certain uh, uh, attribute names like we'll be saying TR. So the first uh, uh, tag that I'm going to discuss is nothing but the uh, table tag. So let me say just say so whenever you want to insert a table, you will be using this particular table tag uh, and there is a closing off tag for the table. So whenever you finish uh, creating a table, you just need to off this particular tag. OK, so inside this particular table tag, um, you you do have certain uh, attributes like so these are the attributes. Uh, so you do have certain attributes like giving the border to the table and then giving some cell spacing. So you can also do all that by using these two attributes. OK, so I'm give I have in the table tag. Uh, so there is an off tag for the table as well. And uh, there are certain attributes inside your table attribute. The attributes are border attribute which gives a border to your table and cell spacing will uh, define how much uh, uh, spacing you need to give between the cells. OK, so this is the first tag that we are going to uh, see while creating the tables. The second uh, one is the TR one. Uh, so the TR is nothing but the table row. Uh, we'll be uh, starting uh, giving the data into the table by using the table row. OK, so next one is the TH tag. Uh, so the TH tag is nothing but the table header tag. Uh, so what is the difference between the normal data and the table heading is that uh, the table heading uh, will appear quite a bit like bold uh, compared to the data that you give it. For example, Monday, right? So Monday uh, where in um, so in the in your timetable, so we'll be giving the day of the week, right? So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and all that should appear in bold, uh, but uh, uh, some data inside the timetable will appear in the normal text. Uh, so uh, that's the difference between table heading and all that. OK, uh, so then you also have another tag which is called as TD. Uh, TD is the table data. OK, so whatever you want to insert in between these rows and columns, uh, you will be using it. Uh, uh, you will be doing that by using the, the TD tag and there is a off tag for all these particular tags. For TR tag, there is an off tag. For TH tag, there is an off tag. For TD tag, there is an off tag. So you just need to off it carefully because if you are not uh, giving the closing tag, uh, it will extend. OK, and uh, then you may not uh, get the expected output uh, that you are that you want to see on your web page. So it is needed that you properly do the syntaxing. Uh, so these are the four tags that are associated with creating a table. So now I'll be creating a table. Uh, so I, what I do is I'll create a table something like this. So let me just show you what I'm going to create uh, so that uh, uh, you will follow me carefully. OK, so let me just uh, take the table here. Uh, so I want to insert a table. Uh, I want to create a table something like this. OK, and uh, uh, the first uh, I'll be creating a normal table as of now and then we'll create the timetable. So which is the complex one. So initially I'll be creating a normal table which will be having all three by three and four by four kind of uh, table I'll be creating and later on we'll create the complex one which is like the timetable. Uh, so I am uh, having uh, some uh, uh, table headings. Uh, so I am saying name and then uh, I just have some register number and then some marks. OK, so this is the these three are the table headings. 
Okay, so what is the table that I have created? I have created a table, uh, something like this. Uh, so where in uh, the first row will hold the table heading, uh, wherein it will be name, register number, and all that. I'm doing it for this. You can also do for other things. Okay, right. Uh, so then the name of the student. Uh, I'll be entering the name of the student here. Uh, so say for example, Manasa. I'll just enter the name of the student. Then I'll give you some register number and then some marks of his. This will go on. Okay, so I'll just make three entries and I'll show you how to create this particular table. Uh, so this is a basic uh, skeleton of my HTML document. So inside the body, uh, so because I, whatever need to be uh, printed on your web page need to be there in the body tag. Uh, so in the inside the body tag, I'm just uh, creating a table. So I just table. I'll add on the attributes once we see the basic raw table, and then we'll try to style it accordingly. Uh, so this is the table tag. Uh, then there is an uh, associated uh, off tag for the table. So I also have given that. And then inside the table tag, uh, what I'm doing is I'm uh, I need to create the rows, right? So I'm saying tr. Uh, so for each and every uh, tr, uh, there will be an uh, closing tr. That's what I told you. Uh, so I just have uh, uh, closed it. Uh, so now I, the first row is nothing but headings, right? Uh, so the first row is nothing but headings. You can just, uh, I'm just uh, showing you what I want here uh, so that you can actually connect it to the concept uh, better. Okay, so on the left side of your screen, you can see like what is the table that I want to create. On the right side, I'm doing the coding for you. Okay, so this is the TR. And then uh, I, as I said, like it is a heading. So I just have taken uh, uh, the heading uh, tag over here. So in between this th uh, uh, tags, I'll be putting what is the heading that I want. So what is the heading that I want? I want the name to be heading over there. So I'll just copy this and then uh, give it uh, two more times and I'll just change the data over here. So what is the next uh, heading that I required? So the next heading that I required is the register number. Uh, so I'm just uh, saying register number and uh, then the third one is nothing but the marks over here. Uh, so I'm just giving the marks. This is what what I require. So let me just save this and show you what I'll get on the screen. Uh, so I'm saying uh, ta.html. <coughs> Let us see what will appear on the screen for us. Yeah, can you see this? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Are there any borders? Are there any borders for the table? No. no. Uh, there are no borders, right? But uh, as I said, like uh, th is the table heading. Uh, you can see, like it is in bold. Yes, is it in bold or not? Yes, ma'am. They are in bold. But it doesn't appear to be like a table, right? Uh, so you just need to insert the attributes like border attributes you need to insert so let me insert the border attribute here and let us see the effect of it so inside the table tag i'm inserting the border attribute so i'm saying border so border is equal to so it is a toggle thing right okay so if you're putting one it means like you want borders if you it is zero it means that you don't want borders okay so i'm just putting one over here and let us see what will happen so now, can you see that I got borders over here? Did I get the borders? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I got the borders. So this border attribute is a toggle attribute. Um, by default, it is zero. So that's the reason why we didn't get the borders. Uh, but when I made this as one, I got the borders. I'll start inserting the next row. So to insert the next row, what I need to do, I need to use the tag which is called as tr again. And I'm saying tr again. Okay, right. So in between this, I need to insert the data. Now it is not like I want the headings. Headings are already done. Put at the top of top row. Uh, now I just need to insert the data. For the data, I'm using the TD tag. Right. So this is the TD tag, and uh, just insert the data. So I'm saying Manasa, <clears throat> and uh, what is the second value? So the second value is some register number, right? So just give some register number. Okay. 
So I just have inserted some data over here. OK, and you can see the effect of it. OK, so I have the name, register number and the marks. The difference between TD and TH, I think you made it now. So this is like in bold. TD, uh, TH is in bold and TD is like it's in the normal text. OK, right? So likewise, you can actually insert more things into it. So I'm taking one more uh, row here and uh, just I'm changing the name. So I'm just saying Anish. Let me just. D9, OK, just refresh it more again enters. OK, so you can just make a copy of it and make the changes. OK, and the third one is say Ankita. And I'm saying her register number is. Fine, so this is how actually you create the table. 